Morning, we are back. We're going to uh, try laying some flags today. It's raining, but under there is dry, so I am going to try and start in this corner. I need to get some some kind of square because um, obviously these stones are just going in and out, so I need to make some kind of square up so it looks nice as we come through. And then it's going to be higher at back, sloped at front. Uh, but only problem is these are leaning that sort of way and that goes down like that so i might have to take them up at some point um just so i can get it coming this way because i want it all this way because i don't want no puddles in there so it's all got to come out this way and then maybe maybe have these along front uh mixed in with with these ones um but i don't know we'll see if it if it ends up some rubbish cut and it looks bad then I'll just not bother I'll just pave straight through we're gonna have some tiles and stuff but we looked at them put them down and they don't look great either so I think we're just gonna go um, Indian stone and then maybe this um, but if it don't work out then not that just Indian stone and then we'll get it all finished super uh, I've got a line on what I'm gonna do is if I can measure off these pad stones because we know they're right Got 50 mil there. Make that 50. Right, audit there a sec, Josh. Don't move. You right? 50. Yeah, that's right there. So 50. 50. Make it 50. A little bit more out uh, there. Spray it in. Right, I've done a few mixers, so we're out of this rubbish rain. Um, yeah, we're going to have to start in that corner. It's a bit tricky because I've already got this um, thing down. It's all glued up, so I can't move it. But I knew it was too cold to lay them um, when we did it in first place, uh, when we are going to lay them. And then I figured when it warms up, it's going to rain anyway, so... At least we're here wicking, a bit tricky around there, but we can work it rain on this bit and hopefully it'll dry up later on this week and we can get all the way around this bar area and what have you. Right, let's crack on. Just levelling, levelling this out under here. That's three mixers, it's really thick at back because I need to get this bloody line going down there to that. So, quite thick at back I'm gonna get some more mixes on because we're waiting for the um, uh, what you call it now the stuff you put on back at slabs primer stuff so we're waiting for that she's just gone for that so we're gonna get another three mixes on dump it there and then I'll be ready to uh, roll when she gets back yeah this is stuff what paving tough so that's it, you just mix it up and it's a powder, you just mix a bit at a time and paint it up back at slab and then that I'll put that one in that way and then I'll work across this back I think. They're all different thickness as well so I Way. So no level, 
and then that line's dropping down so we know that that should be dropping nicely and is look so it's 20 mil over the distance well that's it for today a bit hard to see in the uh, dark but yeah it's been awful it's just rained all day today like dragging it through with slushes hard but hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow because uh, we're going to be working on the going getting onto the outside bit so hopefully it'll be dry and uh a bit better but yeah 10 10 mixers full for that it's like four inch at back and then two inch at um front so i just wanted to make sure it's got that big lean on it you know better to have a, a big lean than a tiny one that ain't going to get it off so if if water does get in there it'll just come straight out but i mean it's been raining all day and no water's gone in there so not too bad right anyway i'll see you in the morning Right, we've got these edges down, just took these up because they were going that way and we want them to go that way and then I'll just have a straight joint there because it's only uh, one and a bit so you won't notice that and then I'll just come that way and then what I'm going to do here, I was going to get them in line so it looked in line but then I'd have had silly cuts down that edge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pave this like this so I get a nice straight and straight there and then that'll just look like a paved area and this will look like a, a separate path that wraps around which I think will look all right. Otherwise we're going to have to cut all the way down there. It just seems daft and then we're going to end up with little slivers. I don't want that. God knows what's going to happen at this end because I don't know how wide it's going to be. But I think it'll look good. So we're just going to go with that. You know, I don't want to be... A Another 10 weeks flagging this, so we need to get it done really. So, that's the plan, let's crack on. Right, this is where we're at and it's dry today. So um we've just used these up because we've run out of we've run out of flags now. We've got a few to finish right back of there as well. So we've ordered another pallet because we've been going round here as well. Sort of down to there, run out there, we've got to finish that corner off. So we've ordered some more of them, but that's the flagging and I'm thinking we're gonna point up today because it's gonna be dry. So we'll get blower blow all dust out. I think Tim's getting it now. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna point it up, I think, in sharp sand because round the front is done in sharp sand and that bit's staying in. And then all this slot here is getting all repointed uh, at some point. But when I get this done, then when she's making pizza, all the joints don't fill up with flour and whatever. And then this is ready to, pretty ready to use. So I think we're gonna go sharp sand. Because uh, it's like a, the sharp sand we've got is uh, pretty much, it feels as like though it's got building sand in it as well. Um, it's like a really, um, like like plastering sand, but it isn't, it's sharp sand. Anyway, right, let's get a sharp sand mix on and we'll get this pointed up. I think we're going to do it by hand, because sharp sand won't go through gun, so we'll do it by hand. It's a bit wetter than we wanted it, but... It's uh, all the sand's wet through, I couldn't get it no drier than that. Barely got any water in it, it's just rainwater. It'll do. So just do it, big joints. 
Right, edges with this, and then we've got a mastic trowel to do rest with. And the problem is, I've only got one mastic trowel, so I don't know. I might pick another one up at dinner time. By the time I go up there, it's uh, gonna be um, dinner time. The time I get back, so I might as well go at dinner. I think. This is a nice finish. Decided to thicken this up a little bit in bucket because it was a bit too wet. Don't want too many stains. So this is about right now. Probably gonna hurt my back this all day. Tracking on now, need to pick some uh, more of these up now. They've gone right edges with point and trowel, filled up big bits in. So, I think that's going to look nice, because it's going to be pretty much when it dries, it dries really, like, not far off, same colours, so, should look well that. Then it, they aren't going nowhere neither, because they'll all be cemented in. Yeah, need to pick some of them up. I think I'll uh, go now. I didn't have any, so I just made that out of a, uh, just grinded it down with grinder, out of a point and trowel, forkward point and trowel. Doing jobby, isn't it, Josh? Right, we've got it all in. I just need to give it an hour or two. Give it a brush finish and then what I'll do is I'll give it a uh, wash down when um, when it's all set. There we go, look, give it a brush and then let that dry and it should go like a, a lightish colour then. Woo! I think it's gonna, uh, so it could snow tomorrow though, so uh, I'll try and get a picture when it's all dried and we've got these shelves in and stuff. <laughs> 